Hey guys, so today we are going to do the oil change on the Triumph T100, but it's going to be the same for T100, T100 or T120 water cooled or oil cooled. So let's get to it. I think it's a pretty easy thing to do. Entire oil change involves four steps. Step number one is to warm up the bike for five minutes. Let it run for five minutes as per the manual and then turn it off and let it cool down for three minutes. Once that is done, then move on to step number two. Step number two is to remove the drain plug nut and the oil filter. And those oil filter are gonna be pretty tight. So you need some oil filter wrench or some, or some pliers or some other way to easily unscrew the oil filter. Typically what I use is a Lexus oil filter and every time it does the job perfectly. And I have a long uh, breaker so that helps with the torque so whenever you have something longer it makes the process easier so that's a great tip if you want to uh, if you have a very tight oil filter then use a long breaker so you can use that length to leverage and push it harder to unscrew it so that is step number two to unplug the drain plug nut and the oil filter and let it drain for almost an hour and that way all the oil will be down collected in a pot and then we can move on to step number three which is to fill in the oil in the oil filter put the drain plug back in and the oil filter back in and then step number four is to fill it up and then see if we have the levels right so nothing more complex here the only challenging part is getting the oil filter if it is over tightened then getting it out of the bike is going to be pretty hard if you don't have the right tools but with the toyota oil filter and with the breaker it's uh, very easy for me so let's see if it can do the job this time and before you start i put some cardboard so that if you have a nice floor you're not spoiling the floor but that's up to you and to make it easier i have installed the center stand that way the bike is level and nice this is the front tire and if i come here underneath right there so that's a 13 millimeter so that's the drain plug and that's what you want to remove and right behind that is that oil filter and if i can bring it i think it's using the casserole genuine one but you can use k and n uh, k and n 204 that's what i'm going to use that way next time i have some nut to unplug so that's at the bottom that's the that's the drain plug and then that's sitting right behind the exhaust pipe on the front of the bike all right so let's get started All right, so as you can see, I'm at a point where I can now loosen it by hand. And that's the only trick. You have to use something long enough so that you can leverage the length and unscrew it. And that's the almost the time consuming and the toughest part in the oil change. But with this tip, you should be able to do that pretty quickly. As you can see the filter came out now most of the oil will come out when you unplug the drain plug and to remove the drain plug all you need is a 13 millimeter you know those rags and these are never enough when you do oil changes so all right so for changing the oil filter nut i already loosened it with the 13 millimeter so i'm just gonna maybe switch the gloves to the other side and then if required move the pan as the oil is about to flow out bring it back make sure you get the washer also out. all right there is the oil drain plug and as you can see here you know it did not have the crush washer here either it's on it's inside the pan or it's stuck there check that when you put that back in so we will let it drain for about an hour and we'll come back so it's almost two hours so i think the oil should be completely drained so now it's a fun part to 
prepare the oil filter and clean the drain plug so let's do that i mean it looks pretty clear compared to what it had keep that aside now it's time to prep the oil filter so this comes with the plastic that means it is coated with some oil in order to hold it i'll just put it uh, inside here and then uh, start putting some oil give it some time so that the oil can sink in all right while the oil is on top maybe just use some of them around this and then fill some more all right so i think that should be good enough oil for now so time to go back and uh, clean the underneath of the bike. So let's do that. Okay, one thing I wanted to check here is that when I remove the oil filter, I wanna make sure that the, you know, this washer, I have seen sometimes it just sticks on top of it. So in this case, it's good. It is still here. Look at the crush washer. All right, I see the crush washer here. So we are not gonna reuse it. So both, I'm gonna take it out. When I work underneath the bike, one thing that I love is this Harbor Freight light. So you just open up, full of light. And then when you're done, push it. And that's it, isn't that cool enough? So we will put this underneath so you guys can see uh, how I clean up the underneath and then we will continue. So. Uh, so Triumph recommends 25 newton meter here so for time being just hand tighten it Uh, here Triumph recommends 10 Newton meter so this should be good enough I think that's good enough if required I can connect a socket here and do a 10, 10 Newton meter uh, but I think hand tightening that is good enough so now we will tighten up the drain plug which is here and the oil filter here is all good so once we tighten this up, I think we are good to go. I think that should be good enough. What we'll check. All right, now it's the easiest part. Take the, that's on the right side, you have the engine oil cap. So take that out and uh, fill the oil in. So if you look at the levels there, you can see the oil level is at the bottom. So I think at this point before filling in the fourth one, I'm going to start it up and see how the levels are. So all are closed. All right. So the oil is not really good so i'm gonna fill it up again all right so if you look at the levels here so you'll see a thin moisture kind of a bubble 
that's because there is moisture inside the engine and this is the first time I did the oil change after the winter. So once I take it for a ride and ride about 10-15 miles, uh, the engine will warm up and that moisture would go away. So we will take a ride and then come back and look at the levels again and also the thin layer of film that looks like water. So that should go away after the ride. All right, so we will come back after the ride and see how that looks like and hopefully it will look better. So this is how it looks like before the ride and uh, we will take a look once we come back. We will see after the ride how it all looks like. All right guys, so it is recording, so let's see. <clears throat> I should have taken out little earlier while the sun was out. Now it looks like it's raining again, but uh, I think a short ride is enough for us to get rid of that moisture in the oil. Hopefully. No more thin film, clean oil. So there you have it. So you just have to take it for a ride and it should be all good. All right guys, so there you have it. So now the oil levels looks good and the moisture is gone completely. That concludes the oil change video for Triumph T100 or any Bonneville for that matter. So I will see you in the next one. Before you go, if you like this video, give it a like. And if you're new here and if you enjoyed the content and would like to keep in touch, you can subscribe to this channel so that you get notified when I post a new video. Alright, take care and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.